is an exclusive input on the entire Gyanwapi legal fight. Exclusive pictures of the entire Gyanwapi complex have been accessed by CNN News 18, ladies and gentlemen. The court has sought details of these photos from the Gyanwapi side. The photos were submitted uh, that were submitted to the Allahabad High Court have been accessed by CNN News 18. You can see the, in those visuals on your screen, the court has sought details about, you can see the Hindu nature of certain aspects of the entire Gyanwapi complex, which is why you see the petitioners who are seeking the right to pray over here because they say that there is a lot of Hindu characteristics that have been the point of worship for many years and that's the point of contention now before the Allahabad High Court when it comes to the Hindu nature of this entire complex as the ASI uh, survey has also, uh, ASI has also been given time till the end of the month to complete its survey. I'm joined by my colleague Ananya Bhatnagar on the broadcast. Uh, Ananya, give us the details. Well, you know, uh, these are the pictures that our reporters could actually access. And uh, now, in fact, you know, uh, the hearing is to begin at around 10.30 a.m. Uh, 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 in fact, at 3.30 p.m. today. And very, very crucially, you know, the Muslim side would be pushing for, uh, in fact, a stay in this particular case. They would see uh, if at all the, uh, the you know, the Allahabad High Court is ready to conduct a survey into this particular case. They would be uh, trying to pushing for a breathing period so that they can approach the Supreme Court as well. But if the case is vice versa, then the Hindu time would definitely be seeking, uh, you know, uh, time for uh, approaching, uh, a breather for approaching the Supreme Court. So, uh, any, any way or the other, you know, there is some some possibility that the matter would reach the Supreme Court fi uh, uh, finally in this particular case. And definitely now you see these pictures that have come in from, uh, in fact, uh, which have been submitted to the Allahabad High Court. So, definitely the nature of these pictures would also be studied by the court and the court would be commenting upon it. Uh, but uh, since it's, it's a, it holds evidentiary value, we would not be uh, commenting upon upon uh, what is the nature of these pictures because these are still under the scrutiny of law and uh, uh, you know any kind of observation on this should be given out by the court itself first. Right, but Ananya, at the same time, and this is, uh, you know, it goes to the heart of the entire right to pray debate. Now, what is the argument coming in from the Muslim side? Because this, uh, you know, this legal tussle has been on for, uh, for a while now. When it comes to these uh, Hindu uh, you know, artifacts that have been found on the walls, that these Hindu uh, kind of like objects that have been found in this entire complex. When it comes to the crucial issue of the right to pray, what is the Muslim side's argument when it comes to these aspects? Well, you know, the legal aspect of this is that uh, at, at some point of time, you know, this is a Muslim, a Muslim side is constantly arguing that uh, there should be a say and, and there, why is there such a human cry for a survey to be conducted to the Gyanwapi side? Why uh, not even a little breather was given out to, in fact, uh, uh, the, the Muslim uh, side to actually approach the Supreme Court in uh, uh, the Allahabad High Court in that matter. And now since the matter is before the Allahabad High Court, the similar request would be made uh, to approach the Supreme Court if at all the orders are not in favor of the Muslim side. But uh, we'll have to see uh, one thing at this point of time that, you know, uh, any way uh, this order goes, it would be reaching a high court in, in in the next few hours and we might see urgent mentioning also taking place in the Supreme Court if at all the order is against any of these sides. So we'll have to wait and watch for all. Right. We'll try to reconnect uh, we'll try to reconnect with Ananya over there. But as you can see in those visuals, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the lotus symbol on top of the pillar and this is also the evidence that has been found in the previous survey ladies and gentlemen and this is with this goes to the entire heart of the matter when it comes to the entire Gyanwapi legal tussle now as we know that the Vazu Khana area is now currently off limits but when it comes to the religious nature of this entire side looking at the Hindu artifacts on the walls and in different uh, parts of the Gyanwapi complex, that goes to the heart of the matter when it comes to the right to pray. Ananya is back with us on the broadcast. Ananya, this entire legal tussle has been going on uh, for a while now to come to a conclusion when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the nature, the religious nature of this site. Where does the Places of Worship Act, the contentious act when it comes to the entire Gyanwapi legal fight, where does that stand right now when it comes to the arguments from both sides? Well, you know, with regards to the Places of Worship Act, there has been a contention that has been made before, uh, in fact, the Supreme Court a lot of times, that um, the Section 3 of the Places of Worship Act actually bars uh, the religious characteristic of a particular uh, place of worship to be changed after post-1947. 
Uh, however, it has been contended, and in fact, the Chief Justice of India too had, in a passing remark uh, in one of the Gyan Vapi hearings, said that there is no such bar under the Place of Worship Act, which bars uh, from re-justifying or re-characterizing uh, the religious character of a particular uh, place of worship. So uh, that that remains the case. Uh, the Muslim side constantly arguing that you know the Muslim side, the main uh, bit of angle uh, in in this legal tussle is to push this survey as um, as far as it can. And in fact, we've been seeing that you know any kind of a survey. Being taken place at that particular site has always been challenged by uh, the Muslim side. So we'll have to see uh, finally when the matter actually begins uh, for hearing. And it's already you know 3:11 and uh, almost around 3:30. The matter, uh, the hearing in this matter would begin. All of these pictures would be seen, and we'll have to wait and watch as to how things would actually pan out after these arguments. Because yesterday the court was inclined to order for a ASI survey into this particular case, and uh, and it had been asking and constantly you know. Uh, uh, judging the officers of the Archaeological Survey of India to understand what is the exact procedure that the ASI would be carrying out uh, while it would be conducting this particular survey, whether there would be a damage to this building or not, and uh, whether uh, you know some kind of a damage could be caused to the western wall, the central domes, or, or all of these areas under context, uh, contention, except for the Vazu area, which is of course sealed uh, uh, according to the Supreme Court orders. And in fact, in, even the Varanasi Court had asked uh, the Archaeological Survey of India to not touch that particular area because it's, it's already been sealed by an order of the top court of the country. So all these five were expected at 3:30 when the Chief Justice was bench sits. But before that, these pictures do uh, tell a lot of story. But uh, since it holds a lot of evidentiary value. We would not uh, like to comment on uh, the nature of these pictures or what these pictures actually go on to say. Right, of course. But at the same time, Ananya, when it comes to the entire point of contention for the right to pray, what the ASI survey needs to figure out is what is the religious nature of this entire site. 